Hey there everybody, Lisa Ullman Baldwin here and I hope you can hear me against the noise of the river behind me. This is the Yunankai River in Cuenca, Ecuador. And I just came down here today. I'm actually meeting some friends for lunch in a little bit of a little place down here and I just had some extra time. So I just came down here to the river and it reminded me that about three weeks ago I was here and uh, I was having a really hard time. Uh, the anniversary was coming up of my mother's unexpected passing and always the month before it's a terrible time for me and I can feel myself slipping into depression and just missing her horribly. And I came down here and I talked to her and I heard her tell me to leave it in the river. And so I had, at that time I had recorded a video and written a post called Crimea River and I'll put the description down below but it was just talking about leaving the grief not that you can get rid of it but kind of to move past it and that the river was symbolic of washing away the old and then what's coming down the hill is bringing in the new so I did that and it helped some it's about, like I said, three weeks later, and I came down here today, and what came to me was I feel much lighter, not just about her passing, but just about a lot of things, but that I can still come to the river, and it doesn't have to be a physical river, it can just be uh, metaphorical in my mind, or something I use in a bowl with water, or in a fire, you know, kind of doing like a burning bowl, and just put anything that I want to let go of metaphorically in the river let it wash down let it dissolve into something else so I found this rock this rock right here a pretty little rock and while I was sitting here I was thinking you know what why don't I just hold it in my hand and put into it everything I want to let go of so all of my fears all of my apprehensions all of my I can't do it stories all of my what is gonna happen if this happens or that happens or the next thing? And just give it to the river. There's no need to carry it. It would be like me wearing a backpack and carrying a bunch of these around all day. It's not serving me any, uh, it certainly is a way to, to look at things that you're holding on to in your life but then to let them go. So if you are holding anything that's holding you back, fears, doubts, um, things from the past that happen that you don't want to happen again, fear of the future, what if this happens? If you get to what if, why don't you what if what you want instead of what you don't want to happen? And just find yourself your version of a metaphorical river and let it all go. Just let it go, let it be. It doesn't mean that you are bypassing it or that you are looking at it through rose-colored glasses. It just means you're not gonna let it, let it hold power over you. It's certainly something to look at, something to consider, something to help spur you to the next phase or part of your life, but nothing to hold on to. So here's my rock. I put all my things in it. I'm gonna let it go and just let the river take it. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day.